Friday evening, the number one team in the nation comes to town. Army West Point is on a roll. They're 7 and 0, just four goals in his last game out, and he's the reigning Patriot League offensive chilly chilly night going to get down to potentially sub 30 as we're underway. One of the best clearing teams and one of the best riding. We got to put a lot of pressure on them and see if we can get them to force some errors. Here come the Terriers. It's Tommy Bork. And at point with possession here, Jake Zimmer alongside Jack Hughes. Army leading the all-time series last year. VU won 12-11 at Mikey Stadium at Army. Had an excellent year as well. One of the leading scorers for BU. Dishing it back out. Jimmy O'Connell had it and a score. And they take a 1-0 lead. That veteran players of veteran leadership, right, being able to to get the shot off, absolutely rocketing it, but there's a little bit of inaccuracy. Nonetheless, BU retains possession. Here's Perfetto. He scores for the Terriers. Gives him a 2-0 advantage over the Black Knight. These many opportunities, these many shots, and a player as talented as Perfetto, you're going to One of the best offenses in the league. Outscoring opponents almost 16 to 10 as a save from Will Barnes from way over the years. Yeah, Joe McSorley in the days of 2019 through 2021. Matt Garber who comes in, bigger guy, and now Will Barnes is 5-9, and he scores! This is to start the game. Especially in the a marquee street. matchup. As you see here, Bork, just enough space. It's Corcoran at it for BU. He'll get a pick from Niedringhaus. Shrugs off a defender, off the build off a two-game win streak. They lost against Navy a couple of weeks ago, but have strung together two great wins against a couple of opponents. This really a good candidate to make use of situations. Lipton passes to Travellini. Pass the defender. Travellini scores! On the board for BU. Four goals, four unique and goal that's scores. Again, what makes this offense so dangerous. So three. It was so natural here. Here comes Iker, the leading scorer. Fired. BU has had eight man up goals on the year. It looked like any reason to go away from him since. Yeah, absolutely. And we see there, right? Part of the reason why. Off the. Top building here in Boston in 2019 when they defeated Loyola, who was number two. That was 18 to 11. Quick stick in this one. Block. Looking for help. And with 30 seconds on the shot clock, about 80 on the game clock. They'll kick it out. Bounce shot and bar. And they'll roll an over and back in possession of Army now. Here comes Mazer. Fires. Scores for Army and cuts the lead in half. Mungus going into the second period. Army with the ball now. Little roll with Evan Plunkett from a tough angle. Black Knights as well from Auburn, New York. Big staple of this offense through and through. Getting past one defender was Evan Plunkett back to his, his regular day-to-day Position as an LSM, Coach Poli said he got bigger, faster, stronger this offseason, and no one can stop him. And there's a score for BU. Home. Make it 5-2 for, for right the To start Terrier. the second after that misplay at the end of the first to give Army that second goal. Reese Burek gets the pick, feeds it back to Spacito. Jump shot. They wanted a late hit. They're not going to get it. Black Knights still have it. Trying to convert, and they score. Who did home? He's had a fair amount of good looks save, But Iker now getting an angle on it, being able to fire. Players Brendan Nickturn, who went on to play for the Chrome Lacrosse Club in the PLL for a couple of years, and he was just log jammed. And finally, the fruits of his labor paying off. Here he comes. 
Trey Brown on him. Iker, point blank, trying to shovel it this right. There are so many talented teams, not just in the Patriot League, but across the country as well. So you can really never rest on your laurels. Bounce shot, even against the team's talents, his army in those situations. Chess gets his stick on it, and chasing it down is Mazer. Who's going to get it for BU with the open net? And finally, scores on the empty net. BU, right after that big backline save, we see Kelly right here. No one Avery. They played Princeton and lost in the first round with a big feather in the cap for the Terriers. As Perfetto, the bounce shot. and Seven for 14. A 500 conversion rate for the Black Knights. As Burek fires. A nice stick save from Bar Where BU will take it nice and slow as they make the changes and get their offensive unit on the field. From way out, it's Bork. Mad Chess. Terrier here, and we see Bork, right, just threading the. Orange missed an empty netter, and Army came back and won. They've won a lot of different games, which is what makes them so dangerous. As Kelly had it at point blank, play catch with Chess. Sullivan the pole. Off to Murphy. Who fires and scores. It's Evan Plunkett who gets on the board for Army. And Army taking advantage of that aggressive B. Really slow for Army, but it's methodical. There is process behind it for sure. Here's Plunkett. He'll fire. Downs, and it'll be 4.3 for Army. They're going to have to move it. The long pole pilot from way out. It's saved by Barnes in their first possession. Evan Plunkett, who's got a goal already. Plunkett fires, and he's saved by Barnes. They should have D'Alto and Perfetto, both Long Island guys. Perfetto from Manhasset, New York, and D'Alto from Kings Park. We'll make the changes when we can. They look a bit more locked in here in this first run as Plunkett. Morin had it and gave it off to Plunkett, who's anchored the left side all day. Eicher scores! Winds up and puts it top shelf. Things around. Pass Barnes. Get the BU defense a little bit out of shape. Right, Morrison trying to come in for the block. I see them. A monumentous period of time since we last played. Army out shooting BU 28-25. And a good goal here. Thomas Niedringhaus gets his second of the right day. Back after that stoppage in play, Niedringhaus... Doing a good job turning the corner, getting the angle. Winner before overtime at Mikey Stadium in West Point. As the Terriers come away with a faceoff, it seems like a rarity. The Fogo trying to put it in, he does. Wins the faceoff, goes all the way down the field. And we'll go back for Gunner Fellows. He tries to escape X, the jump shot. Advantage in the faceoff for Army. That was something they made abundantly clear that they need to get their lion's share. One of the best long stick midfielders in the nation. He'll dish it off to D'Alto. And now to Perfetto. BU is pushing the tempo. And out with possession here with 15 on the shot clock. D'Alto trying to get free. The quick stick. Bork brings it over the clear line. Bork will pass it back off. Fires! Puts it home again. It's 10-5. BU's Direction doubling up Army. Look at the pass from Cates to today that puts him top 10 nationally in faceoff percentage. Obviously leads the Patriot League as well. As Gunner Fellows right now. He said the reality is you can win the rest of your games, but that's just somebody's opinion of being number one. As this one goes off the post for the Black Knights. They'll try it again off the second. Chobbed by Barnes. The ball trickles out. They'll get a shot clock reset. It'll go back to 60. And here's Plunkett. Plunkett scores! That was a big goal. Who cuts the BU lead to four. Plunkett has been all a heroic ever on a lot of these plays. We see Plunkett and finally puts it home again the past couple of years. 
Plunkett had at least a point in all of the first nine games last year for the Black Knights. And a as Gunner Fellows puts it home for the Black Knights. They do on Make offense when they're firing on all cylinders. Right, we see here just getting the angle, taking the contact. Lipton with a goal already. He kicked things off for BU. Perfetto the bounce shot. Yeah, Army playing very physical on defense. Here they come on the break. Here's Fellows in a big save by Barnes. The rebound for Riker. Can't get it to go. And clear. As Barnes sort of retreated now. Here's Cates. Cates, he scores! Jake Cates goes through the defenders. Seven. And, and you see feet. Cates here, right, getting low so he can get past the defender instead of getting per goal lead. Happier with us, Jake Zimmer alongside Jack Hughes. Sasha Abrams down on the sideline with us. The bounce shot, it's good! Connor puts it home off the assist from Reese Burek. And the late army break. Man, As you see, the eighth goal of the day for the Black Knights and BU taking a timeout. We'll take one. Third in the nation. And only clearing at a 75% clip here today. That's in large part due to BU's ride. And there's a. Nice Coach Joe Alberici like this at one. the beginning. Of Absolutely, you have the defense moving throughout the entire possession. No overall and 4-0 in Patriot League play. More than likely solidifying them as the number one seed for a third straight week in the rankings. Behind the back for Jake Cates. Take a look at this. D'Alto and Cates has crawled right back into it. Just simply too good of a team to roll over. They've shown at times their fantastic play today. And BU, he's had his fair share of. Empty net goal for BU. As they employed the extra five seconds. D'Alto throws it up. Boston University gets a marquee 14 to nine year score as they handle the Army Black Knights. Of being the number one team in the Patriot League this season, really making a case for themselves and jumping out to a lead and from there, just holding things together, taking the punches Army threw at them.